Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to a Saturday unboxing video. We got one box for you, and it's kind of cool. No, it's not from Rovers North, from uh, Westport, uh, Westport uh, Vermont, USA. Uh, I happen to have been a uh, former, and I guess I would be a uh, current uh, customer of Rovers North. I bought a lot of stuff for my uh, series trucks from Rovers North, but anyway, this guy, this uh, package, uh, eBay purchase, that came from State College, PA. Yeah, Pennsylvania. So uh, Dave, the guy I bought it from, must be a uh, Rover owner as well. And um, so anyway, that's kind of cool. So uh, yeah, look at there. So Anyway, I've got a couple of these stickers uh, that, matter of fact, that I probably bought from Rovers North, and I put them on a piece of glass, and as, obviously you can see some of my lighting from uh, the studio here. Um, but yeah, I've got those, and um, well, right now they're not hung up or uh, put up anywhere, but yeah, pretty cool. I could frame them, or I could just put them, uh, put them up like that. But uh, yeah, that's probably... 20 years old, that sticker, probably, close to it. Anyway, so let's get back to the box from Pennsylvania off of eBay. Just the one, but it is a doozy. I took a look at it. Oh, you know, I looked to see what it was because I didn't remember buying it. And uh, I forgot to see what kind of price I paid. But it was, uh, I want to say, $12 to $15 for this whole box. All right, so let's see what we got here we're gonna take this one out the carded one here but bam check it out yes this is the matchbox hero series uh hero city this is uh the collection there for a while in the 80s i'm gonna guess uh they did a bunch of the hero city stuff and uh yeah so this was uh five 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 one two one two actually in my area, that was information back when I was growing up. 608-555-1212, and you could get uh, information. But uh, looks like a pizza delivery guy. Look at that pizza guy there, man. He's, his head's the shape of a pizza. All right, pepperoni only, pepperoni only. Let's see how close I was to the uh, year that this came out. 2005. Three. 2003. Yeah, so they did a whole bunch of different stuff, uh, like uh, character cars and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, they did a couple of Land Rovers. I know the SVX was part of it, too, but uh, very kind of cool, very kind of cool. Just a plain red with the uh, green top. This is the old casting with the metal base on it, and uh, very kind of cool. Really uh, not... It's mint on the card. You can see some damage, but that is from the packaging right from Match, Matchbox when it came. So we're going to stick that over there. Uh, let's grab something else here out of the box. But bam Check that out. Land Rover Shell. There's the Shell symbol. Rally. Five Rally interesting interesting i think i might know what this is but has a precarious set of wheels on it yes hmm kind of a different top than what i thought it would be on this uh car and does it it has opening doors boy you just can't oh man you just can't hold on can you series three yeah, let it, let's see what it was, but look at those wheels. I don't know if maybe they put different wheels on it, but let's see if it is what I thought it is. Is it? Bam! <gasps> no, it's not a Burgo. I thought it was a Burgo. Uh, and Burgos have the little vents on top, 
and you know it's kind of the 143rd scale but this is a little bit smaller but check this out yeah Mira made in Spain Land Rover reference 0.165 dude we got a gem here something uh, from a manufacturer I do not have left hooker nice cream interior nice little steering wheel there yeah got a second row of seats can't really see yeah it's kind of got bench seats in there no it's got three jump seats in a bench seat style but it is it's got molded yeah you can see them there wow wow I do not have this brand and that's why I didn't recognize the tires now I can't get the door shut way to go got it open now I can't shut it oh boy we better uh, take a minute to but they're plastic tires it has been riveted, so nobody swapped the tires out. This is what they, <laughs> they're little go kart tires on there. That is crazy. That is crazy. There you go. I got the door. It kind of hung up on the dash in there. Yeah, that is crazy. They don't really roll very good because they're hard plastic. And those chrome hubcaps. Voila, voila, huh? But that is awesome. I think that's the gem of the whole. Thing. let's see what else we got in here oh yeah here it is ba bam check it out yeah vinyl we got another vinyl piece and this is uh typical of vinyl is they get they collect dust yeah the vinyl kind of um i don't know erodes or melts or whatever series one now it is missing the glass piece on top but uh, the dude is still there. Look at that happy face he's got. And his dog, his dog, look at that. It got bibs on, I believe. Yeah, dog and a milk container. Milk, uh, uh, what do they call that? Milk canister? Milk jug? What do they call those? I don't know. Anyway, spare tire back there. Well, what is it? It is the number 18. Oh man, I don't remember this. And little wobbly wheels, those are kind of common on there. There's a, you can look up vinyl Land Rovers in that number 18. Now, maybe we should tag the video at, and I did a whole uh, video on my vinyl collection. Yeah, your friend Dano collects more than just Land Rovers. He collects vinyl too. But, uh, <laughs> well, of course they're vinyl Land Rovers, but big old toe uh bar on the back there with a hole in it but uh very very nice other than the missing windshield uh very nice example i and i don't know if there's a way to to clean this you know i really don't know if you know comment down below and while you're doing that give me a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video huh that is awesome that's another gem i i have some of these do i have the yellow one uh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I think I want one more thing in here. Yep, one more thing from uh, the Rover's North box from <laughs> from David. I don't know the guy, uh, but from PA. Oh, here we go. Majorette. Now the card is cut. That's kind of interesting, and it and it is kind of open too. But I'm not. I don't have to open it anymore. No. No, got the original ladder on it. This is kind of like mint in the package, if you ask me. This is a very, very nice one. Uh, oh, look at that base. That is shiny, ka shiny, ka ching, 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 made in France. So this is an early one. Um, very cool, very cool. That's the number uh, 248 in the 160th scale. Um, the Range Rover. The Range Rover uh, uh, um, Rescue Team number three. So yeah, very nice. Doesn't have the Blue Man group in it. This is the one that would have uh, the blue uh, men that uh, are molded and they snap or they fit right in on top of the, in, uh, the uh, interior. Uh, once again, a left hooker, but very, very nice. This is very nice carded piece and I'll just throw this in the cabinet 
Oh, let's see if it's got a deed on it. I don't think it's got a deed. Oh, they caught the, uh, <laughs> that's why it's jacked up like that. See how it's jacked up? They uh, caught the uh, body in the uh, packaging, but uh, very nice. No, they don't have a uh, date on these really at all, but very cool. Nice to get a mint example of that and kind of the packaging. So really kind of cool. All right, that's it. I got to get out of here. Look at unbelievable take a look at that now we got a one of wednesday that we got to go in depth and take a look at what this bugger is that is totally awesome all right this is your friend dano i'm out of here thank you for joining me and remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day